2020 Volvo XC60 T8 Polestar Review Excellent but Exorbitant Volvo is on a roll. The Chinese-owned Swedish automaker currently fields a compelling range of vehicles, from the compact though suitably premium XC40 crossover to the luxurious S90 sedan to the fun and functional V60 wagon. Its products are upscale, thoughtfully designed and, as always, incredibly safe. Sitting at the core of that range is the XC60 utility vehicle. Globally, this multi-purpose product is Volvo's best-selling model. The reasons for this stellar showroom success are obvious from the moment you open a door and slide behind the wheel. The XC60 is luxurious and well-made, with generous amounts of cargo space, more than 63 cubic feet with the rear backrest folded down. Put this machine in motion and it carries itself with an imperious air, particularly the range-topping T8 EAWD Polestar model, which offers loads of performance and a stern driving experience. Friendly it may look both inside and out, but this crossover is nonetheless all business. Turbo Dash, Super and Electrically Charged Like other modern Volvos, this Polestar modified XC60 is propelled largely by a creamy smooth, 2.0-liter, four-cylinder engine. On its own, this gasoline-burning unit is incredibly quiet and isolated. In fact, it's so well-shielded scarcely any noise or vibration makes it into the XC60's passenger compartment. This thing does such a magnificent impression of a six-cylinder engine, and a good one at that, most drivers would never know a mere four pots are propelling their upscale, Scandinavian crossover. Helping this tiny tot pull with vigor in all driving situations is an elaborate induction system. A supercharger bolsters low-speed performance, delivering a healthy hit of torque off the line, but as speed builds and exhaust gases start exiting the cylinders in enough volume and velocity, a turbocharger kicks in to provide even more boost. Throw direct fuel injection into the mix and this engine should be good for 328 horsepower on its own. A dynamic drive. As you'd probably expect based on its output figures, this Volvo scoots. The drivetrain is muscular, having no trouble spinning the front tires in wet or otherwise inclement conditions, its Kilimanjaro of torque making the tires scramble for traction. Unlike some other hybridized vehicles, the XC60 T8's powertrain is utterly seamless. There's no jerking or bucking as it switches from combustion to electric power or vice versa. Together, the battery and motor provide acceleration assistance and help recuperate energy when it's time to slow things down again. The whole arrangement is totally smooth. When its electron reservoir is depleted, the gasoline engine is plenty potent and incredibly polished. Handling and steering feel are fine. In this department, the XC60 is neither poor nor praiseworthy. Scandinavian elegance. If you've checked out any Volvo built within, say, the last five years, the XC60's cabin will be no surprise. Its interior is familiar, with top shelf materials including Napa leather as well as aluminum mesh inlays, excellent build quality and loads of helpful features. The dashboard's overall design is mostly horizontal, but its center stack, and the prominent, 9-inch infotainment display it houses, is angled ever so slightly toward the driver for easier access. Running between the two front seats is a large center console. It's home to a number of important vehicle controls, including the ignition switch and gear selector. During my week with the Swedish crossover, whenever it was time to fire the engine up, I always poked the dashboard with my right index finger, leaned over to peer around the steering wheel's rim and then remembered the switch is actually on the console. Every. Single. Time. There's nothing wrong with the ignition's placement, it's just hard for me to override muscle memory. Features galore. I've never been a big fan of Volvo's Census infotainment system, but like barnacles on the hull of a ship, it's growing on me. At first, I found this multimedia solution daunting, with seemingly crazy menus, an overly intricate user interface and often laggardly performance. As my familiarity with Census has grown, I've come to actually like it, this system just has a learning curve that's steeper than the walls of El Capitan. Naturally, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are baked right in like chocolate chips in a muffin. Navigation is also embedded in the Polestar modified XC60's infotainment system.